ESA's latest cohort of students are now officially astronauts. It has been a dream since I am a child. Every child has this fascination for space. Since I was a little girl, I always had this curiosity of an explorer. It's unbelievable that already one year of basic training is passed and that we uh, now graduated from astronaut basic training. It's almost a sort of surreal feeling to think that we've actually come to this milestone of our training. I'm so grateful to the team who've supported us on this journey and it really is just the, the beginning, so it's really, really exciting. I really think that this year of basic training has uh, changed me. I really feel that we are now ready to, to actually be assigned to a mission and to overcome any difficulties or any challenges that are to come. This year has been incredibly intense. We have been through something very special all together. And I must say that yeah, today I want to enjoy it. We are officially astronauts. In 2021, the European Space Agency opened applications for new astronauts for the first time in over a decade. The response was staggering, with over 22,000 applicants eagerly applying. The rare opportunity was open to the 22 member states and grounded in the value of diversity. After a complex and intense selection process, the successful applicants were announced we found out who would be career astronauts who would start training just a couple of hours before the announcement in Paris at the Ministerial. At that moment, it really reached a heightened sense of nerves and excitement. Five exceptional individuals from Belgium, France, Spain, Switzerland and the UK were joined by Australia's Space Agency astronaut candidate at the EAC in Cologne, Germany to begin their year-long training journey in April 2023. Really what I love about this job as an astronaut is the variety of tasks. The basic training provides an insight into life on the International Space Station and equips astronauts with essential skills such as mastering sea survival, robotic operations and scuba diving for spacewalk preparation. They were focused on acquiring as many skills as possible to be assigned to a wide range of missions and tasks to withstand the challenges of space travel. Basically, you learn from uh, zero how to be an astronaut, um, which is quite a lot to learn. All it is about is how to become comfortable in the uncomfortable. In the survival raft, we had to deal with an injured person, so a fake injured person that uh, was on board. So we had to deal with that. We were in an environment where we were pushed at the limits of what we can handle in a normal situation. I think one of the most challenging parts, yet rewarding, was the EVA training in the pool. The professionalism and the level of the training we got this year is top class in the world and I'm, I'm very happy I had the, the opportunity to, to learn from them. My classmates, um, my instructors and teachers and mentors here at the European Astronaut Centre are all absolutely wonderful. They're all here helping us achieve our dream and it's such a caring and supportive environment. They are all members of a single team the European Astronaut Corp, which has 11 active members based at the European Astronaut Centre in Germany and are ready to serve on missions worldwide. ESA hopes to send some new recruits to the International Space Station by 2026 and into orbit soon after. Science is beautiful. It is also one key tool that we can leverage to address the challenges that humanity today is facing. What fascinates me about space exploration is that it's the next frontier of human exploration. As interest in moon exploration grows, these astronauts of the future are dedicated to advancing human space exploration and pushing the boundaries of scientific research for the benefit of humanity. Now there's also this whole new era of moon exploration, the idea of having a space station orbiting the moon. It's so much more than I've seen so far in my lifetime and it will become so much more than we've ever tried as humankind. It's going to be incredibly thrilling.